What's going on guys? Spring is officially here. You see a little greenery other than the tractor. Got the woods hooked up. I'm going to see if I can't go out there and knock that field down. I just found out the woods has a small oil leak. I just filled the gearbox. Hopefully I can just fill it with some grease once it drains out and that'll plug it. But if not, I might have to pull the seals and do all that fun stuff. But I'm actually get some work done today and go out there and level this field. I'm not quite sure how well the camera really picks this up. This front 40 or 50 feet is thin stuff, but even when it gets dark, it turns into a bunch of briars. And our lot goes beyond all those trees with greenery. So I think when this is all said and done, it'll be quite the quite the improvement and look so much better. Time's a wasting. Tunes are a requirement. Looks like my leak may have slowed a little bit on the gearbox. We'll take that. I, uh, I just wanted to get a little test area done and then kind of check on the cutter, make sure it was functioning all right. Seems to be. There's a few high spots though out here, and I man, I smoked them and then kind of scared me a little bit at first. But uh, if you'll notice, I'm running with my loader on, and a lot of people might say not to do that. You know, some could argue that that breaks, you know, seeds loose if there's on top of the stuff, and it might plug your radiator sooner rather than later. I'm fine with that. I've never cut this field before and it's hard telling what's hiding out there for me. I don't want to screw up my PTO and tractor. So I'm going to run with the bucket down a few inches off the ground so if, I, if there is any big rocks or big hunks of metal because I have no idea what this guy had out here before me and I can promise you there's something I'm going to find. But uh, that'll help me prevent hitting anything. And secondarily, this cutter's a little bit, probably a little bit too big admittedly for my tractor but like I said in another video I'm not gonna be out here cutting really big stuff so it'll do for what I need it long term and the, uh, having the bucket out front is actually a little bit of ballast I when I making some turns I noticed that the front end kind of skipping a little bit I almost wanted to put it in four wheel but thought that was overkill so everything's looking good I got this section done we're gonna move on out to the thicker stuff so there's the beautiful green pastures I just finished now it's on to this nastiness here. And it's probably hard to see on the camera, but some of the stuff is well over my height, and I'm about right about six foot. So I'd say some of the stuff is creeping up on six and a half, half feet, maybe, maybe seven foot in some spots, some sprouts, but we'll knock her down. making some good progress as you can see behind me things are starting to open up but man this stuff out here among these trees just takes a while it can look nice though when it's done just a bunch of little paths it's a little soggy in some areas but you walk out here where it's opened up 
Six acres is a whole lot bigger when you can see it all, or at least a quarter of it. A little windy, I need a microphone for this thing with a cover. Not shabby. for the wind but so I'm nowhere near done but looks pretty good it's starting to look like a little park kind of setting out here I think long term I'm gonna need to do something though to keep this uh, something I can cut with a zero turn with one of the grasshoppers because there's so many trees it's either do that or level the trees um, I kind of want to keep them though shockingly you know as much as I like cutting stuff down but Let's take a little uh, walk around and I'll show you kind of what it looks like now. So I'm several hundred feet now away from the barn up there. And I still have that far west side to knock down. There's probably from where the tall, from where that tree is there going over to that big tree line. There's probably 150 feet that way. And I, uh, I basically, it's like playing frogger out here, dodging trees in order to cut my path. But... I was probably more choosy than I needed to be, but it's a little easier to leave some of these little guys now than, you know, come back and plant them later, but it's pretty. It's springtime. It's finally here. And, uh, it smells like summer out here, I'll tell you that much. So yeah, the woods was a good purchase. Definitely a good size for that there tractor. So I got the 4052R with a Woods Cadet 84 inch, seven foot mower. It, uh, it'll do work. I certainly appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out this video. Going along bush hogging for me this afternoon. I'd call this the first official day of spring now. Now we've done a little, little cutting out here and there's some blooms on the trees. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Check back for more videos. It's going to be a fun spring and summer. Take care, guys.